Donald Trump came away from his meeting in Hanoi with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un with at least one thing, material for a new book, The Art of No Deal. The breakdown in talks in Hanoi reaffirms what we've known for almost a year, this process has been diplomatic amateur hour. Trump has repeatedly undermined his own negotiating position by making clear that he already sees his diplomacy with North Korea as a success. After the first summit with Kim in Singapore in 2018 Trump falsely claimed that there is no longer a nuclear threat from North Korea. Days before the Hanoi summit, Trump said that he didn't need Kim to make any more concessions, as long as there's no testing of nuclear weapons and missiles, we're happy. It's no wonder that Kim wasn't willing to give more in Hanoi, Trump has been telling him for months that the status quo is just fine. It's sad to see an American president embarrassed by the world's most ruthless dictator, but that's what the world just saw in Hanoi. Beyond the lack of substantive progress on the nuclear weapons program, Trump continued the disgusting spectacle of standing up for a tyrant who has been found by a United Nations commission to have committed crimes against humanity. In the span of hours in Hanoi Trump called Kim a friend, defended Kim from blame for the murder of Otto Warmier, and yet again disputed U.S. intelligence analysis that North Korea continues building more weapons. And yet, diplomacy is still the way forward, because there is no other option, and real diplomacy can yield impressive results, just look at the Iran deal, which, of course, stopped Iran's nuclear weapons program and didn't require one leader-to-leader -leader meeting. More sanctions and a return to maximum pressure will not help. And we must all be wary of the immense danger of a return to the fire and fury talk. Despite the embarrassment in Hanoi, Perhaps walking away from this meeting will create some of the diplomatic leverage that Trump has repeatedly squandered over the last year and force Kim to believe he needs to make more concessions in order to keep the process going. Trump has consistently acted as though all he cares about is the appearance of a win on North Korea, and so if there was only a bad deal on the table and Trump rejected it, that's a good thing. If there is to be any hope for progress, Trump and his team must learn from the mistakes of the last year. And since it seems difficult for Trump himself to learn from past mistakes, it is even more important that the next steps not include Trump's personal diplomacy. While it's difficult to believe that Trump would keep quiet on any subject, Trump's staff should hope that the president doesn't get asked any more questions in public about North Korea and doesn't tweet any more about it, each time Trump says something on North Korea, he gives away a little more leverage.